We are just seven days away from the census deadline. COVID has slowed the counting process, but there is another factor. Tonight, KCTV5's Betsy Webster looks at why it should matter to you and what one local organization is doing about it. Betsy. Well, Ellen, that group is going to be out here at De La Salle at 37th and Truce to walk people through the process. And it's actually just one of three free services they'll be providing. What might be most visible Saturday is something like this, drive-through COVID testing with results in two days. But it won't just be nurses with swabs this time. We have an iPad and we take a, a mobile hotspot with us. There'll be volunteers equipped with the tools to get your census form filled out online, right on the spot. Urban Neighborhood Initiative community organizer Salim Rashid says it takes some convincing for people suspicious of government intrusion. When I was younger and coming up, I remember my mom and him used to be like, I ain't filling that out. He now gives others the same lowdown he gave his mom. But this is not anything to gain any personal information or be used against you in any type of negative way. This is all positive. Think money. By not being counted, the district you live in gets less money for services because the money gets allocated by census population data. It's also the data used to allocate seats in the state house and the U.S. House of Representatives. It could be a case where you could be getting more representation, but you're not getting it because the population is not reflecting the actual number of people in it. Speaking of political representation, his group will also have voter registration forms on hand and quiz you on changes you might have let slip, like... If you've moved it since you voted in the last election, then you need to change your address because then your polling location, you can't go back to the same place where you voted prior to you moving. They urge you to come out even if you don't have COVID symptoms. At their last event, Five of 88 people tested positive, and only one of those was feeling unwell. Now that's all happening on Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. It is a joint effort that also involves KU Med Center and Heart to Heart. Those folks tell me that they have had very few people register in advance, so if you show up day of, you will probably be able to get through very quickly, and before you take off, you'll also get a parting gift of some face masks and a nice big bottle of sanitizer. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Betsy. And if you can't make it out, you can still complete your census and read over the election rules. You'll find a link to that information with this story. Just open up your free KCTV 5 News app or visit KCTV5.com.